My name is Juby and at a younger age I had some health challenges which really motivated me and kind of pushed me into an interest in natural healing. I started to explore various holistic therapies, various techniques. And what I found was the most powerful for my healing and for my self-improvement were the more ancient therapies. I immersed myself for about five years, traveling all around Southeast Asia and really absorbing and searching for some keys to understand what, what's happening in human health today. Uh, because looking around myself, I could also observe within my family and within my wider circle that people were really struggling with their health. And uh, the question that burnt within me was why? After becoming a practitioner of nutrition, of yoga and of various modalities, I realized my real interest is in what I call my original human design. So our original human design is it's our hardwiring. It's having a look into where we come from and the way our world has evolved now and how we are not getting all the things that we always need to live and function optimally. Original design healing arts, then as I call my modality, is a selection of practices and lifestyle habits that we can use to supplement to boost ourselves, to get back to the level that we are really designed for. I offer a consultation that is uh, powerful in educating people on the wisdom of indigenous people. I work with people, first of all, with breath and movement. Those are the most fundamental aspects of our human design. My movement background definitely first came from martial arts and Tai Chi was a very big first passion for, for myself. Now with Tai Chi, of course, you really slow everything down and what you focus on is feeling how the breath moves the body. And exploring this breath-body connection, which is very powerful. So the first step, because breath is life and it is our most direct access to life, is to get people to start to reconnect with their breath again to learn how to grow the lungs, to strengthen the lungs, and how to oxygenate the blood proficiently. So physical well-being is really far more than big strong muscles. Our muscles need a balance of strength and tone or flexibility. That's the first thing, so that we can have our natural joint mobility. That's the foundation for a pain-free body. We also need to build our movement patterns. We need to keep connected with the expressive potential of our human being. So 
So I look a lot at movement complexity, getting people to connect with the rhythm and coordination again. When I consult, a big part of the work I do is to use body work. Once all the relative tension points and stress points have been properly stimulated, we move on to really starting to bend the body where the body needs bending and open those joints which are most locked. We see how wonderfully the body can open up and heal. What I also utilize is what we call temperature stress therapy. So our human bodies are supposed to be completely adapted both for cold immersion and for heat. And when we stress the body either with cold or with heat, using breath to warm the body and then going into the water to expose yourself again to the full beauty and charisma of nature so that your body can start to align again, start to heal, start to become cold adapted and start to become strong. I think the key for any, any human being's personal health is for them to first of all become a researcher of their own original human design.